of all the conversation types, the clearing conversation, I would say is probably one of the hardest ones. And it doesn't get easier. You can get better at it, you can get more skillful at it, but fundamentally there's something difficult in terms of talking to another human being to clear up matters that you may be afraid to clear up. You may be afraid of how they're going to react or you're afraid of exposing something about yourself that you don't want to expose. And so because of those two reasons, we don't say things about how we're pissed off or we're miffed or we're um, irritated. It isn't just always the big things that are very obvious. The, the hardest things are the smaller things that add up that when they build up beyond a certain point lead to a big explosion, but it's because all of these little things were never dealt with. And so having courage as a value within this conversation type, and if you can look, you can program up there, it says intention, a little hard to see, but you can program this conversation type with a value. And that's one of the incredible um, discoveries made with the conscious communication card set that you can program conversation types with values. And this particular conversation type, the clearing conversation, is something which if families mastered, I think you could really get into a new state of uh, love with each other. Because whether it's families or businesses or people that spend a lot of time together, it could be a marriage, uh, there are things that need to be cleared up that are never cleared up. And they create this impasse of information flow. They create the lessening of the vibration. They kill the vibe. They kill the mood. They kill the, um, they kill what is good in a relationship. And so of all the 72 conversation types, the clearing conversation is in the synergy conversations, which deals with relationships, which deals with how we connect with others. And so if you master this conversation type, if you're able to clear with anybody uh, when something's wrong, either on their end or your end, uh, it's a massive skill. And so sometimes we, we sense there's tension, we sense there's something wrong, but the person doesn't really want to talk about it. Perhaps their culture uh, is against really bringing up things that might bring shame to someone. Um, so as a facilitator, when you can feel the vibe in the room, when you can feel a vibe between a couple, or when you just when you when you can sense something is wrong, that may be the time to bring up a clearing conversation and to teach them how to speak about things that make them uncomfortable. 